Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now, before I start, Christmas is almost upon us and I'd like to wish all of my friends, viewers and subscribers a very happy Christmas and a very happy new year. Without you, my channel wouldn't be what it is today and I'd like to just wish you all a Merry Christmas. So, on to the ration. What have I got today? I have a Norwegian Arctic field ration. Now this particular one is a little bit different in that it is a vegetarian ration. Um, it is couscous, lentils and spinach. So, let's get this on the table and see what the pack contains. I have here on the table a Norwegian Arctic field ration. This particular one has an expiry date of 2020, so still plenty of life left in this one. And it is a vegetarian meal, and it is couscous with lentils and spinach. So, let's get this open and see what's inside the pack. Now, as I mentioned before, these do come with a resealable, very useful resealable seal there. And they open from the corners with a simple pull. Oh, let's see what we've got inside. Now, let's move that to one side and see what we've actually got in the pack. Straight away, there is a chocolate, dark chocolate, 60% cocoa. There is a cranberry protein bar. There is a strange, strong smell of fruit coming out of this pack, so I do hope nothing has actually suffered. There is the main meal, which is the couscous, lentils and spinach. And it is dehydrated, freeze-dried. I have a little packet of spicy sauce. And there's some roasted and salted peanuts. I've got somewhere to get them all to fit. There is a taste of apple energy drink. Put that up. Put that there for now. We have a moist towelet, a vitamin tablet. A powder mill Colombian coffee. A simple looking plastic spoon. And a nice little Ziploc bag for saving all your spares or taking home your rubbish. So, that is the contents of the Norwegian. Arctic field ration and this is the couscous with lentils and spinach so let's get this out on a tray and see what they look and taste like as you can see I now have everything laid out on the tray and I think we'll start by opening this very unimpressive looking spoon get a knife there, don't want to risk breaking this already doesn't look very strong, it looks very poor quality, but we'll use it and see how we go. And because this is a freeze dried meal and it's going to take a little bit of preparation, it calls for 10 minutes of wait time, I think we'll start straight away with rehydrating. So there is two peel tabs, top one for the first part and the second one is for when it is reconstituted. So, I'm going to say this is 
couscous, lentils and spinach vegetarian option and it calls to fill the bag up to the little lines so nice gusseted pouch which is always helpful and we'll get some hot water straight into that bag now I think that is about there and let's give that a little mix get the water down to the bottom Seal that back up. And give it a little time to do its thing. So, while that's doing its thing, I think I shall move on to the Colombian coffee, freeze-dried, powder mill. No whitener, no sugar with this particular ration. So it is just coffee. Medium looking roast, quite granular, quite heavy granules. And I'm going to bring in a MRE spoon to help with this because I've got couscous all over that spoon now. And we'll just give it about half a cup of water. We also have a taste of apple energy drink and again it looks like it's meant to be made in the pouch but for demonstration I shall put it in the glass the tear strip and it's a sealable pack quite flaky looking granules there this into a <clears throat> quite a flaky powdery sort of granular mix and we'll top that to about the top of the glass that's a strange consistency. I say it looks like almost like snow. Nice smell of apple coming from there. Okay. Took quite a bit of stirring to dissolve. And we'll start moving around the tray with the other items. Now, let's open the cranberry protein bar and it says it's 28% protein. Looks very similar to the British ORP cranberry bars. Very similar. Quite sticky. Quite sticky. We'll put that to one side. And then of course we have the 60% cocoa real dark chocolate. I think we need the knife for that one. This particular one is broken. It's not the end of the world. It is a little four brick bar. Slightly bloomed but not too bad. Not too bad. Um, you have here some roasted and salted peanuts, nut walker, these are very common in quite a few rations around the world, very familiar nut brand, nice hiss on opening, and we shall just pour those 
onto the tray. We also have a multivitamin and there's a very impressive list of vitamins on there. I'll let you pause that if you want to and just see what there is. But it does say daily dosage, three pills, so one per meal. Let's have a look at that. Just a very simple, simple pill, tablet, got to one side. And just in case we need it, we do have a wet nap, and I'll come back to that if we need that. So, it has only been about five minutes, so the meal is not going to be ready, so we'll start tasting all the other items. The coffee, the Colombian coffee dark looking not a lot of smell, coffee smell coming from that mmm it's quite bitter, there's a bit of a bitter aftertaste there nothing nothing too special, nothing too wonderful it's a standard medium roast instant coffee I wouldn't say it's actually exceptional just it is what it is a black coffee have a look at this apple drink now there's still a few crystals left at the bottom looking at that but the rest of the the glass is cleared nicely so a little bit more stirring would have helped let's have a taste of this mmm oh very pleasant, very refreshing. Certainly apple flavour. Almost tastes like a, a natural apple juice. Very natural tasting. Even has a little bit of acidity. Just like natural apple. Very nice. One of the most natural flavoured tasting beverage based powders I've had to date. Very nice. Very apple flavoured. Genuine apple. Now, I think it's going to be unusual in that I'm going to try all the subsidiary items first before the mains. But let's uh, not Walker peanuts. It's pretty standard peanuts, known universally around a lot of the rations that we review. Um, slightly salted. Hmm. These particular ones, very fresh, very crunchy. Small hint of salt. Personally, and this is only my personal opinion, I would have liked to have a little bit more salt on them. But I'm sure for most people, they'd be quite happy to have those. Nice, decent peanut, slightly salted. Turn back to this apple juice. Very nice juice. Very nice juice. I think now we'll have a look at this cranberry protein bar. Very sticky. It's very sticky. There is lots of fruit in there, cranberries. Um, Crispy, very sweet. As the appearance of the British ORP cranberry bars, but a totally different flavour and texture. Much sweeter, much more crispier. Very nice, very sweet. Very good energy boost. Very mouth filling. I do apologise there. It took me a little while 
to actually swallow that. Very filling, very, very energy rich. I'm going to have a look at the dark chocolate. So, bloom slightly on the outside, but not too bad. Nice and crisp. Mmm. Quite a firm chocolate. It doesn't want to instantly melt in your mouth. Once you've chewed it and broken it up quite a bit, then it starts to dissolve. Very rich tasting. Very nice quality dark chocolate. Certainly going to eat all of that without any hesitation. And back to the coffee. It hasn't really improved with uh, age. It's this particular car, I think, would greatly benefit the addition of sugar and a whitener. But it is what it is. It's an instant black coffee. Now, I don't know if this has had about 10 minutes. Let's have a look at the couscous. It seems to have rehydrated. It's a little bit of a stir there. Obviously designed to be eaten out of the pouch, but again for demonstration, we shall pour it out on the tray. Comes out of the pouch nice and cleanly. So, quite a heavy looking lump, there's one or two dry pieces there on the bottom. Standard really for dehydrated meal nice portion did say 400 plus calories quite sticky quite a sticky texture but you can see carrots and lentils obviously couscous cannot see the spinach but I'm sure it's in there there's some green flecks so let's have a taste of that hmm Mm. there is more herbs and spices in there there is a slight chilli kick there is some heat very mild in the background as a texture of what we have here in the UK stuffing that we put in um, with turkey and chicken a sage and onion style stuffing if you live in the UK you'll know exactly what I mean by that a bread stuffing very similar tasting to a sage and onion mm. it's actually quite an enjoyable pleasant meal soft moist very filling you can just feel it sticking to your ribs. It's a very filling meal. Quite pleasantly flavoured. A lot of pepper. Little bit of background heat. Nicely salted. Mmm. Very pleasant. Very pleasant vegetarian dish. Now, we have a little bit of spicy sauce. I shall add a little bit of that. It does already come with a slight kick. So I don't want to give it too much at this stage. Use the scissors today. So I'll start off by adding a little on the side there. So, red spicy sauce. Assuming that is chilli. Anything red and hot is normally chilli. I can smell chilli. It does smell quite powerful. Mm. gives it a new lift there was only a few drops on there it's, all, it's already 
massively increased the potency the whole packet if you're a fire lover you'd enjoy that but if you're not the whole packet might be too much in my opinion but small quantity very nice let's add a few of those peanuts a few peanuts now to the dish Mm. those peanuts go very well with the spicy sauce and the couscous and the lentils adds a crunch an extra bit of saltiness very nice combination of peanut there is now that chili afterburn that little burn you get after you've had chili in your mouth for a few minutes it starts to evolve and get hotter and hotter it's a very powerful spicy sauce if I was to put the whole packet on that for me it would ruin it, it would be far too hot but if you do love spice this is the one to go for certainly lots of kick Refresh my palate with the apple. Mm. So, recap. Before I recap, I think I'll just have a look at this disinfectant wipe. I have got sticky fingers. Just a standard, very wet very wet alcohol wipe smells of surgical alcohol smell like hospitals used to smell like in the UK years ago that alcohol surgical smell very cleansing very quick evaporating small but powerful nice little wet nap so recap coffee Colombian roast, powder mill, personally, slightly disappointing, it's standard, it's nothing to shout home about, would greatly benefit from a little white nut and sugar in my opinion, it's a warm coffee flavoured drink, there's not much more I can really say about that, the apple juice, one of the best natural tasting um, powdered juices I've had out of any of the rations, very very natural almost think you're drinking pure apple juice very nice and refreshing even has that little bit of tartness like, like apple juice does the main meal couscous with lentils and spinach texture of a bread stuffing that we have here in the UK that we have with chicken and turkey um, very similar background taste it tastes like it's got sage and onion and various other herbs in there there is carrots in there and lentils you can see the components very filling very stodgy in the stomach if you were to eat this you'd certainly feel very full nice flavor as it was little background hint of um, chili but with the addition of the spicy sauce the red spicy sauce really lifted that chili kick really gave it a fire I only put a few drops on a small piece and that was plenty for me and I've, I've barely touched the contents of that if I was to put the whole lot for me that would be unpalatable but if you love fire this would be the way to go peanuts standard nut walker peanuts I think most people know what they are lightly salted um, good quality peanut again just my own personal choice I would like a little bit more salt on there but for most people I'm sure that will be adequate but a very nice quality nut the cranberry cereal bar protein bar crispy sweet tasty a nice filling after meal bit of sweetness very nice um, I actually think it's better than the British ORP one um, nice cranberry bar chocolate 
good quality, firm, brittle, but good quality dark chocolate. Need to chew it to break it up, but then it starts to melt on your mouth, coat your tongue, and you know you're eating a quality dark chocolate. Last but not least, there is a little vitamin pill. Not much to say about that, but I might as well take it, seeing as it's here. It does say daily dose three pills, so it would be one with each meal, breakfast, lunch and dinner. So I'm going to just take that, see how it goes down. Very easy to swallow, went with no, no trouble whatsoever. If you were uh, one of these people that have trouble swallowing pills, I think even that would have gone down pretty easy. So, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So thank you and goodbye.